Hotel in Dusseldorf for the European Darts Best Open. We've had eight games this Sieg afternoon. We've got eight more for Kola you this evening. 16 guys looking to make the second round of the sixth Kremlitz. European Tour event of 2015. And I hope they've reinforced the stage because it's the Pie Man versus Chuck Norris. Dainty, these two are not. They are some serious, serious dart players, though. Alan Norris, the former Lakeside World finalist. The Pie Man, a man who's won six Pro Tour titles with the PDC. And we've got some big names on the way for you this evening as well. Mensor Sullivich, a three-time semi-finalist on the European Tour. We've got big John Nenderson, who made the final in Munich just a few weeks ago. Devin Peterson, familiar face and some familiar dance moves on the PDC circuit. Stephen Bunting, former Lakeside World Champion. He's on the way against Jihan Art at the German. It will be noisy for that one. Dirk van Dijvenbode versus Leo Hendricks is an all-Dutch affair. And then we round off the first round action tonight with Jamie Lewis, another former finalist on the European Tour, taking on Michael Rosenauer, another of the host nation qualifiers. But we start with these two, the Pie Man versus Chuck Norris. I'm Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one. And alongside me is Rod Harrington. Yes, good evening, Dan. Good evening, everyone. Well, this is uh, Battle of the Big Men, I think we're going to call this one. Battle of the Linebackers. And uh, I think Norris would be the favourite. But um, the Pie Man, well, we've seen him over the years throw some exceptional darts. 60. And uh, there'll be no gamesmanship in this one. I don't think these two know what gamesmanship is all about, do they? They wouldn't uh, come anything like that. But uh, 140. Looking forward to a close game, though. I think there's going to be plenty of legs in this game. Yeah, this is their first meeting. Obviously, Alan Norris only making the move over to the PDC this year. Stormed through Q School on the opening day for a nine data along the way as well. It's fair to say it's perhaps not gone according to plan since then for him, but it does take time to acclimatise. And he's fired in a couple of 140s to start the match. I think you're exactly right, Dan. You know, Stephen Bunton come over and, and uh, made inroads straight away. So did Barney, to be quite honest. Mm. But everybody else, have, they have struggled. We see Smithy. Oh, quite a 180. Yeah, I think uh, normally a year. And then they start to settle down, get to know the people. You know, instead of them being on the outside, now they're on the inside. They're in with the, the families, we call it. And uh, they start to get along with everybody. And then they can settle down and play the right darts. There's no question this... This Norris is a class player. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, we've, we've seen him throw very good. I mean, you don't throw a nine dart on your first day of Q school without being, you know, a half-decent player. And, and that run to the final of the Lakeside, where he was beaten by Stephen Bunting, I mean, there were some phenomenal performances along the way there. 125. Always the, the way. 125, and you hit the bullseye. <laughs> The funny thing is you actually look at the bullseye, you don't look at the 25, because the red bit just takes over that, that uh, vision. 60. Just the 60 from the pie 50. man, so Alan Norris looking for an early break of throw. Double four he wants. And double four he gets, 15 data. Alan Norris. Second leg is Alan to throw first. Game on. Well, this afternoon's performance is down. I think I have to go down to the youngsters. Dimitri... Oh. Yeah, he and was superb. Rodriguez. Yeah. yeah. Yellow Clausen was very good as well, yeah. to be fair. But yeah, certainly Dimitri Vandenberg and, and Robert John Rodriguez put in superb displays. And Wes Newton, eh? 6 0 versus Gerwin Price. Well, Maybe you, he's back? You would have lost your house on that one. 100. I mean, I expect that one to be a close one. I think the form line said that Gerwin was actually just the favourite. But uh, good to see Wes throw some good guards again. He's had a bit of a lean period. Yeah, just a selection of the names through to the second round. That's when the 16 seeded players join the tournament. The likes of world number one Michael Van Gogh and the defending champion here, Peter Wright. 55. And Ian White, the number eight seed, who awaits the winner of this match here. Well, that's a toughie, whoever wins this, because uh, Ian White's playing 84. extremely well at the moment. Yeah, made a final in Wigan the other day. I hope I'm wrong, but you, you can't put Ian White in the, in the Terry Jenkins category, that sort of player. 140. That may not ever win a major. Mm. Yeah. 
I he mean, he's, he's just inside the top ten in the world now, Ian White, and that means that you're a threat. You can beat anybody. I mean, yes, we saw totally. a couple of weeks ago in, in Risa, I mean, he put in an incredible display to knock out Stephen Bunting. It was 6-5, and there was something like eight 180s between a pair of them in the last four legs. As the pie man... Well, fill it up, why not? Leaves you double 13, but will make it a little bit noisy in here for Alan Norris as he looks at 100. Oh, it might not matter. Good marker. Get Doesn't matter at all. Alan what a six darts you've seen from those two there. Like yeah, I like that from Andy Smith. You know, puts in the 180 to cause a little bit of a, a stir in the crowd. You know, just hoping that it maybe have put Norris off, but Norris didn't, well, see if he didn't hear anything, Whoa. just stepped up. That was a good clean kill. No, he leads 2 0, and um, Smithy has got some work on here because Norris looks pretty good. Well, Rhythm is good as then three darts through. Well, look, Alan Norris, we said he is a serious, serious player. If he gets on a roll, he can be very, very difficult to stop. 100. He is ranked down at 80 in the world, but you know, obviously, he hasn't been in the PDC very long. He's only going up at the minute. Maybe a weekend like this could be the springboard he needs to catapult himself on to greater things. When Stephen Bunting, we've already mentioned, made the move to the PDC, it helped that he won his second tournament. I mean, talk about hitting the ground running. Alan Norris hasn't had that. He didn't even qualify for the opening European Tour events of the year. He made his debut 60. in Venray. Ended up losing in the first round. Yeah, I have to say, I, I thought that he would have been a lot further up than that as we see him fire another... 180 and certainly he is taking the game to Andy Smith you know saying Dan I expected him to be around the 40 mark by now to be quite honest but like we said earlier on you know it takes a little bit of a time you sometimes you expect too much out of yourself and uh, that puts you on the back foot a bit but, uh, 125 and he has qualified for the next two European Tour events as well so plenty of opportunities to move up the rankings for Alan Norris and that's another good marker doesn't use it, and there's just and a sniff of a chance here for Andy Smith. He does like double 18, so if he hits a 20 and a treble 20. He needs the treble, though. Doesn't get it. So Norris will be coming he's back, looking at 3-0 with two He's got to be careful here as well, Dan, because he could hit the flights here and bounce 60. over. No, he's gone for the left-hand uh, side. Sometimes just 20. a big 20 is mm. just as good there. Well, Norris, don't want to go inside this. Well, that's a perfect marker for Alan Norris. Well, oh dear. Rushed that one a little 15. bit and rushed that. So, and although it is 56. with his throw, this could get Andy Smith back in this game. He was staring 3 0 in the face. Two darts at tops for the pie man. Mm. 16. Alan, you require five. Well, the pie man is in serious trouble if Norris takes out the double two here, which he does. 3-0 down the pie man. Yeah. Andy Smith in a lot of trouble now. He's two breaks down. And the way Norris is playing, a little bit of hiccup on the doubles there, but Andy Smith didn't take advantage of it. And he gave himself the opportunities of those two maximums in that leg. And there you see, 125 first nine average. I know, you know we're only three legs into this, but that is a man 60. who is scoring well, despite those missed doubles. His average is getting up towards that 100 mark. 50. Even when he's missing, he's not missing by much. 60. Smithy just can't find the treble. And you see like Stuart Kellett this afternoon, uh, yeah, when he was finding it, it was only just the one treble. And the way 57. Norris is playing, he's got to start putting two trebles in. Another visit with other treble from Smith. And this could mean trouble. Norris need oh, and that's perfect. Surely he's going to find at least one more treble with that. 140. Yeah, we've only been on stage 
less than 10 minutes and already Andy Smith is in all sorts of trouble. 44. Wes Newton produced a whitewash victory in the final game of the afternoon session. Alan Norris may be thinking about one here already. 80. Oh, that'll do very nicely. Very nicely indeed. I was just about to say again, you know, just a big 20 will do him here. Doesn't want to get a deflection and go in the one or a five, but uh, that's confidence for you. Now all the other times wow. he's gone for double top, he's put the oh, first one right on the top wire, which is a brilliant guide if you're going to miss. Oh well, there we go. I'd bust it. 35. Didn't look there, did he? Hmm. You know, busting it was the ideal thing there. Sometimes, you, like I say, you know, you come back for the double top. I know he's next to the double five, but all of a sudden, it could cause a problem. It could if he finds a treble here, the pie man, and he wow. has done. Just to make Norris think, but he did take this out in the last leg. Double two. And he James takes it out this leg as well. 4-0. Fifth leg is Andy to first. Yeah, no problem. That's, that's when you know that his mind is in the right place. I know a lot of players that would have checked the score and busted that to come back for the tops and tens. 45. Wow. Well. Already in this leg, the pie man is behind, and Norris is not Norris. taking his foot off the gas. A third maximum for the man from Yeovil, and he is all over the pie man here. Tons are not going to be enough for Andy Smith, and certainly an 81 isn't. So, again, Smith is staring a breaker throw in the face. He's picking the trebles off on the switches, Alan Norris. And there we have it, 3-1 to one on the 180s. If it wasn't for those missed doubles, that average would be significantly higher. The overall one, the first nine, is oh, pretty flawless, really. Wow. It's going up. 100. What's the thing nowadays you hit 100 and your average comes down <laughs> yes 100 oh. 125 this is on the pie man throw as well treble 20 61 one of the players who when he's left 80 going for the treble 16 route if you like the double 16 that's the way to go but you don't go there if Andy Smith was on a finish he wasn't though but he's going to be on one now yeah, 55 left, says Kirk Bevins. He should know. Well, the way Norris is playing, Dan, you, just, you fancy to take this out. 64. But he may only get one dart at a double. He is only going to get the one dart at the double. And he's missed it. So that percentage of going for that, it could have cost him the leg. Mm. And this is a leg, I know it's on Andy Smith's throw, but you only need that little bit of spark to get yourself back in the game. He needs this. It's definitely not in, Pi. That, is, is. that is, though, and Andy the Pie Man, he's sitting in there fighting, he's got a leg on the board. Fifty-nine. I know that, you know, the checkouts are all personal preference. Um, well, the weird thing is, he's left eight, he's gone for the treble 16 there. And then when he's got 64 left, he's gone for the treble eight to go back to double top anyway. So it's not like he wants to leave double 16. He's going, his favourite is double top. And he had 80 yeah. earlier on when he hit double top. Mm. Strange, strange times. There you see the checkout statistics. I mean, they're not great for either player, but Alan Norris's score in power is giving him more opportunities. <laughs> Exhibit A. Oh, the pie man hitting back. 140. <laughs> 120. <laughs> Two balls right. eyes. That's the way to leave a finish. And if he takes that out, it could be three balls eyes in the last six darts. 80. Well, that's cost him. I'll do a finish there, the man. So six darts from here. 
Trouble 20. Ooh, the no, double, double top. top. What a finish this would be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Superb stuff. Unusual way to go with your first dart. So Pick up the trouble 14. Well, it doesn't matter. The combination is all the Be same. On. That was a fine check out from Norris. And it's a good display of darts, especially the scoring power. You know, when when you're up there and, and you're thinking, right, I've got the scoring power, so I know. If I, lose, if, I, if I lose a leg, someone nicks a leg, you know that you've got that scoring power. You're always going to give yourself chances. And, and that's where Norris is in the head at the moment. Right. 30 points difference pretty much in the first three visits to the board. You can see same number of tons and ton 40s or 96 and 131s. Oh, this will alter it a little. Yeah. Well, it's another one in the maximum column for the pie man, but it's still half of what Alan Norris has thrown at him, and it might be. I was going to say he might hit another, but he didn't follow up that first dart, but he looked, looked pretty plumb. Alan Norris very much in charge of this match here and looking good for a second round spot to 60. face the number eight seed Ian White, the diamond. Forty-four. And he required one hundred and twenty. Well, shouldn't let this one go from here. He doesn't have to go for the No, he's old school, Smithy. He doesn't need to go for the treble nineteens. Four nineteens were left the bullseye. He looked across and noticed that Norris was probably nine darts away, just set it up, and well, that's exactly what he's done. Sensible play from Andy Smith. 100, and he requires 40. So, tops for the pie man to get another leg on the board. Now for tens. Bust it. Games. Nah, just just he looked at five. it. He <laughs> looked at it. He, it went through his mind, Dan. He certainly right, thought, shall I bust it? Oh, no, we might as well have a go. Is, is that the thought first? It's like, well, sensibly, I should bust it. Oh, never mind. I'll just have a go anyway. Yeah. 140. We almost criticised Norris earlier on for not thinking about it. We've uh, The pie man's had to think about it. I'll oh, just hit it anyway. Yeah. It matter. <laughs> Wait up the pros and cons and then think, oh, just get it done. 45. This is where Alan Norris will want to finish things off, though. Kicks off ton 40, the pie man only 45. Norris, the advantage of throw, 82. finds a treble. One per visit is all he needs from here. 60. Yeah, visits without even two trebles from the pie man is not going to be enough. 120 plus these. For Alan Norris and Paul, plus all of those. Well, that is his fifth maximum in just seven, well, eight legs, sorry. Very, very impressive from Chuck Norris. 140. And they could 99. be the last darts that Andy Smith flings here in Dusseldorf this weekend. Is that in the treble? I think it is. Game and that shot. will do nicely. Alan Norris, 6-2, a 12-darter to finish things off and a comprehensive victory. He wins his first game on the European Tour and Chuck Norris, if he's playing like that, he could be a serious force this weekend. He's through to face the number eight seed, Ian White, a pie man dumped out at the earliest opportunity. We've got seven more games coming for you this evening at the European Darts Open in Dusseldorf.